Friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 29th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes update, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Still, the only active regions are outgoing and as well incoming. Large plasma filament erecting from the surface of the sun, dancing around. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, there are some pretty large sunspot regions turning into view. Stay tuned as these will be Earth-facing over the next week. Having a look at outgoing, these regions were pretty active. Now heading to the backside. No major CMEs or solar flares shot out our way, but we do have this very large incoming Earth-facing coronal hole, which I've been documenting throughout the week. We did get hit last night with solar winds up and over 900 kilometers per second. A quick jolt of solar winds ahead of the coronal hole wind stream. Now that may have just been a glance because there's a north and a south coronal hole. But nonetheless, last night, our planet was smashed by 900 kilometers per second solar winds at one point. And this is our sun for the past 48 hours, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Right now we have four Earth-facing sunspots, one cresting into view, and three turning away. Pretty complex and large sunspot region coming into view. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1. Minor radio blackout impacts are expected from minor C-class flare action throughout the day today. Solar winds right now are coming in at 293, which is below average. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see. Minor M-class solar flare last night and a strong C-class solar flare today. Solar proton flux is low. And geomagnetic activity, KP2 as of right now. Space Weather Prediction Center. This is the most recent space weather spiral. Minor geomagnetic instability through the 30th. Other than that... No new coronal mass, mass ejections added to these models. Same with the ISWA space prediction spiral. And that coronal hole wind stream was prevalent yesterday in the models, but not here today. Not affecting our planet as it was a north and a southern, but we did get hit just a little bit. This is a look at Alaska 2, brought to you by SOHO. Showing the cosmic energies leaving our sun for the past two days. As we've been looking at a blank disk. A little Earth-facing quiet time. Here's a look at our geospace magnetosphere depicting the solar winds hitting our planet. And this was last night. As we were impacted by over 900 kilometers per second. Solar winds right-hand side showing the pressure. Planes. Left-hand side. Solar winds. As they came in originally at 400 and then smashed and topped out at 900 kilometers per second. And here is the event from last night. Came in just over 400 kilometers per second and then down to 300. And then right in the middle there, the little purple dot in between the 800 and 1000, that is a recorded solar wind speed of 905 kilometers per second. 486. It's really hard to tap on to that one moment, but there it is, 905 kilometers per second. That's the fastest solar wind speed we've seen over the past 12 months. 905. Notice the temperature there in the bottom. Now let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours. We're going to start out here with a notable earthquake off the coast of British Columbia, Tofino, Canada, reporting a 4.2 magnitude earthquake, and as well, notable earthquakes 
north and northwest of Yellowstone. 3.7 there reported. Mammoth, Wyoming. Notable earthquakes up into Alaska as well. Denali Park, 4.0. 4.2 there. Atka. Carrying on here. West Ring of Fire has been really quiet. Deepest earthquake past 24 hours is a 551 kilometer depth, Lavuka, Fiji. South America seeing some activity today, notable in Peru, 4.8, Mariposa, Peru, 97 kilometer depth, 4.2 there, Chile. And as well, the largest last 24 hours, South Atlantic Ocean, reporting a 5.6 just north of the Scotia Plate. Pretty rare place for an earthquake as well. 4.5 here, Ethiopia, northeast of the most recent earthquakes. That's the last 24 hours, but I want to zoom in on USGS as USGS is reporting above average earthquakes right now and notable earthquakes, as I said and mentioned, north and northwest of Yellowstone. As you can see here, reporting 267 earthquakes past 24 hours. Alaska seeing increased seismicity. Right through the Aleutian Islands. Notable earthquakes there. Tofino, Canada. And as well, here just north and west of Yellowstone, reporting 18 earthquakes at Mammoth, Wyoming. Largest being a 3.7 earthquake. There's the Yellowstone Caldera, or Yellowstone Lake. 18 earthquakes. That's the most earthquakes we've seen in quite some time around the region, so definitely notable. As well, earthquakes here, Mount Rainier, Lausanne, and increase minor seismicity all through southern parts of Los Angeles and the Mexico border. Stay tuned, stay aware, and prepared. 266 earthquakes, slightly above average right now. Notable earthquake here, Caraway, Arkansas, 1.4. And as well, York Harbor, Maine, reporting a 2.0. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Again, largest being the 5.6 South Atlantic Ocean. And then activity north. North American plate, Tofino, Canada. So heads up, all across the West Coast, this is an earthquake watch video. We have not seen a large one in a couple weeks, but we've seen a lot of deep earthquakes over the past few days. If you live in an earthquake prone zone, please just be ready, have a plan, stay safe and healthy. Carrying on here, let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by the active and erupting volcanoes spewing sulfur dioxide emissions into our planet's atmosphere. Big plume coming out of Kilauea last night as there was another eruption that has since stopped yet again, completely covering and cooling over the caldera's surface. Big plume coming out of Italy, most likely an eruption at Mount Etna or Stromboli, looks like. Other than that, no new eruptions or major plumes to report. Visible here, yet again, Pretty intense plume moving across the Mediterranean right now. Now let's have a look at world weather brought to you by windy.com. Thank you so much for watching overlooking Europe and North America. North America has got three or four low pressure systems coming in this week. A roller coaster of temperatures. And that's the same with a Europe high pressure ridge building in for the long range. And for the long range on uh, North America, we're going to see multiple lows developing. But again, a roller coaster event of temperatures until the middle of February, where we're going to see extremely cold temperatures come back to North America and envelop the Northern Hemisphere, actually, right around to Europe. So stay tuned, stay subscribed to Daily Events Worldwide as we will keep you updated with these weather forecasts as they can change daily. Overlooking Australia and Africa, multiple 
low pressure systems, strong cyclones. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six cyclones developing in the southern hemisphere right now. And we saw something like that last year in the northern hemisphere. I think there were nine at one point raging across the northern hemisphere. Right now there are six here. Intense weather through South America and as well South Africa. Multiple lows still forecast, but no major cyclones for Madagascar in this forecast. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show. And again, please don't forget to give thumbs up. We're getting out so close to having a thousand likes on each video. It's really important to help this channel's growth. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily news. Bye-bye.